Should we give it another shot? Yeah, I think we do. We're in. Back to Nashville. Yeah, how you get off this thing? Yeah, a uh, little help here. You all right? Um, I, I got it. From droughts to floods to a lack of clean water. There's no economy without groundwater. Think about all of this fertile land covered in water that can't farm. It's going to have an impact on the food systems of this nation. Our America, Trouble on Tap, Saturday at 10 on ABC7. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Breaking news at 5 a.m. A massive manhunt in Maine. At least 20 people are dead in the latest mass shooting to devastate the country. We're live near the scene in Maine. Plus, highway robbery, new reaction to this frightening scene that played out on the 10 freeway. And you could be waking up to some wet roads, but is it enough drizzle to need an umbrella? Ooh. Good morning, I'm Leslie Sykes, along with John Gregory and Rachel Brown. Got a little taste of it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so far, on my way in at least, it was relatively dry. Yeah, same. I'm sure some people are getting something, Leslie. Right, Mark Cotarobles had an umbrella yesterday, so, you know, he's the umbrella guy. So he's the one that brought it out for <laughs> he's us. He's always prepared. <laughs> he is. Hey, good morning, this is what it looks like. Yeah, we do have a chance for some more drizzle this morning. Not a lot happening, a little bit against the foothill communities we saw that this morning. Um, it's gonna spread out some, but for the most part, not as extensive as yesterday. Downtown Los Angeles, 70 to 71 degrees. Inland Orange County, we're back to 70. Inland Empire and the Valley communities back to about 73 degrees. Then you head out towards those beaches, 68. Mountain communities, 58. And the high deserts, just about 74 degrees today. We'll have more coming up in a full forecast in a little bit. We're going to talk more about where we're headed for the rest of this week and next week. And yeah, there is warm upon the way. That's all to come. And we're going to Ruffalo in right now. Take a look at traffic. Good morning. Good morning. It's pretty slow out there. Not too much <laughs> to talk to you about. So you can see on the map here, there's a whole lot of green. Not a lot happening. We do have a couple areas that have a little bit of road work. It's just not causing much of a backup and should be ending uh, any moment here around 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, taking a quick look at some of your commute times, the 105 westbound looking great from the 605 to LAX, the Norwalk area, uh, to the airport. You're looking at close to 15 minutes. And the 91 westbound is not too slow quite yet. We'll be getting there soon, though, from Riverside to Anaheim, just about 30 minutes at the moment. We'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. We continue to follow breaking news out of Maine. At least 20 people are dead and dozens more are injured after a mass shooting in Lewiston. The shooter is still on the loose. Sonia Rincon from our sister station WABC joins us live from Lewiston with the very latest. Sonia, good morning. Good morning, and it is quiet here right now in the city of Lewiston and surrounding area with a shelter in place order still in effect. Many businesses are closed, schools are closed this morning as police continue to search for a man described as armed and dangerous, believed to be responsible for the murders of anywhere between 16 and 22 people in a state that only saw 29 homicides in all of last year. This morning, horror in Lewiston, Maine. A massive manhunt continues for an armed gunman who police believe opened fire on multiple locations, including a bowling alley and a bar. At least 20 are dead, dozens more injured. And law enforcement is searching for this man, identified as 40-year-old Robert Card. Card is considered armed and dangerous. He's a person of interest, however. Authorities say Card is a firearms instructor from Bowdoin, Maine, with military training, who also has a history of mental health issues. ABC's Aaron Katursky. This past summer, he spent two weeks at a mental health facility somewhere in Maine after he reported hearing voices. Sources say the gunman, armed with an assault-style rifle, entered the bowling alley and began firing while a youth bowling league event was taking place. How many shots did did you hear fired? Um, oh gosh, I would probably say like maybe four or five. And you said it felt like it went on forever. Yeah, it felt like it lasted a lifetime. Maine State Police urging people in Lewiston and nearby Lisbon to stay indoors and for businesses to remain closed until the suspect is apprehended. I got helicopters flying over my house with searchlights and it, it's unreal.
Schools are closed in the area today. Law enforcement also releasing a photo of this white vehicle they believe Card was driving, found empty in neighboring Lisbon. Several ambulances, stretchers, and law enforcement have been seen outside hospitals where they've been treating victims. President Joe Biden and the Attorney General have been briefed on the tragedy. The